Cindy Hyde-Smith and Senator Roger Wicker join a bipartisan effort to turn the site of Emmett Till's funeral, a church uh, in, in Chicago church, into a national monument. Now, the death of Emmett Till in Mississippi in 1955 was the spark that ignited the civil rights movement. And Walt's here, and Walt, there are places here in Mississippi to really find out about the Emmett Till story. Yeah, there sure are. And actually, there are those uh, who would like to see some of the sites here in Mississippi associated with Emmett Till also present by the National Park Service. And to get a better idea of the significance of Emmett Till, there's one site that's already preserved that you can visit. There's a tin building in Glendora, Mississippi. That's up in Tallahatchie County. It used to be a cotton gin. It's a museum now. Its official name is the Emmett Till Historic Intrepid Center. And inside is displayed the story of how 14-year-old Emmett Till came to Mississippi in the summer of 1955 to stay with relatives and was accused of whistling at a white woman at Bryant's Grocery in Money, Mississippi. On that night, Roy Bryant and his brother-in-law, J.W. Milam, kidnapped Emmett from his great uncle's house and tortured and killed him. They tied a cotton gin fan blade to his body and dumped him in the Tallahatchie River, not far from this building. The body was discovered, and Bryant and Milam were put on trial for his murder, and an all-white jury acquitted them. Later, they admitted to a national magazine that they killed Emmett. Now, none of this would have ever been noticed much outside of Tallahatchie and LaFleur counties back in 1955 had it not been for Emmett's mother, Mamie Till Mobley, insisting that her son have an open casket funeral back home in Chicago so that all in attendance could see what they did to him back in Mississippi. A photograph of his mutilated body was circulated nationally. This building in Glendora once housed the cotton gin where that fan blade came from that was tied to Emmett Till's body to weigh him down in the Tallahatchie River. Bryant's store and money has long since turned to ruins, and the courthouse in Sumner where the two men were acquitted is now the Emmett Till Interpretive Center. And the Roberts Temple Church of God in Christ in Chicago still stands where Emmett's body was shown to the world. It is a national landmark, no matter the status given it by the national park system, because this nation was forced to look at its own face at that church when it looked into the mutilated face of Emmett Till. If you'd like to see that Emmett Till and Trepid Center, it's open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 in the morning. You need to Google their webpage because you need to go to the webpage to make a reservation. Byron?